welcome to the gaming granny we are going to start with subnautica we we'll start with a new game because um, there's a lot of people out there who haven't played the game so I'm gonna give you a basic beginners tutorial on what to do It's just unfortunate that some games out there do not have a, a proper beginner's tutorial with it and it leaves you to try and find things out for yourself and this can be confusing to a lot of people who have not been in the survival gaming industry for long. hoping that this video will be a great help to all the newbies out there. Attention! You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Right, now you're left with this fire hydrant in your um, extinguisher in your, in your hand, which you don't really need. This here is your storage container. It's very limited, very limited. Everything is sparking and everything. If you look here on the warning panel, it's showing you everything is um, not running very well. You're going to have to try and get things fixed. This here is broken. Your radio is broken have to try and fix things to get the ship or this life pod operational. Great, now let's see what you have. You have flares. Flares are good to light up the dark and also um, to scare some creatures away, but be warned. Light attracts some bigger monsters. Water. Very important. Water and food. Very, very important things to have. Right. Right click, puts whatever you have in your inventory into whatever storage facility that you have available. Let's just get rid of the message. Okay, tab will close your PDA. This here is your first aid kit. As you can see, you have some minor injury at the moment from the head. I suggest you. I, I suggest you take the medical kit, it will be now be in your inventory, so press tab. Your first icon here is what is your inventory. So you click on it, it will show you, you have a first aid kit, you have nothing equipped, nothing. Right click on it, uh, sorry, left click on it and you 
will have used it. See, now you're on 101%, which is illogical, but you're on 101% health. Second one tab is for all your blueprints that you will learn along the way. You, are, you have a, a limited supply of uh, blueprints at the moment. You will be acquiring a lot more further on into the game. Okay, let's close that. Now, to get this part operational again, you're going to have to get a repair kit, amongst other things. But priority here is that you're going to need equipment that you don't currently have. As you saw on the on the PDA, you don't have flippers, you don't have goggles, you don't have a wetsuit. You don't have anything that can actually keep you alive for long. So let's go out and have a look at what is out there. There is the Aurora, the ship that you were on, which is now crash landed. The Aurora Very close. Orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Which means that zero life means that they at the moment to your knowledge and to the system's knowledge you are the only sole survivor of this catastrophe for now sea is all around you turning around there doesn't look to be like there's any land you have some bits of coral sticking out so everything out here in this water is out to get you Remember that. Everything wants to eat you. That way it'll keep you alive. Now welcome to the underwater. Everything under the water here is not dangerous, but you must just stay alert. Just stay alert. Now if you look, your oxygen is going down. To fill up your oxygen you have to actually come up to get air for now because you have no tanks, nothing available on you. There's a lot of strange alien sh uh, looking fishes here. Believe me, it doesn't mean that the bigger they are that they're, they're going to bite you. It could be the smallest one that can get you as well. Yeah, it's giving you, giving you a bit of a tutorial in saying break the lime. So just left click, breaks the lime, and there if you pick it up, Copper, copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely the flaws of Right, so the copper is what you're going to be needing for to make anything electrical. So remember that, copper is important. So if you, if you get it, keep it, but don't overdo it. Right, you can see your, your food bar, which is the yellow, is down and your water which is the blue one is a little down so let's go ahead and grab us a fish new creature discovered right you turn around turn around you will find your, your, your habitat or your pod from any direction Okay. We're going to solve the first issue, which is your hunger. So, this is fabricator is where you will be crafting most of your stuff until you advance to the next level. As you can see, it's highlighted sustenance, which is your food, and it tells you you can cook it. So, then cook your pipa. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Right click to get out of that mode that was stuck on the fabricator. Open your PDA, which is your tab key. Look up at your first tab, which is your inventory, and there you will see you have the copper you picked up earlier, and the, then it says cooked pepper. Left click on it to consume it. As you can see, it gave most of your life back, but not enough. You still got it, you are still a bit hungry. Alright, close your PDA, tab key, 
go to exit. Now we're exiting from the bottom. Lots of things out there. Both, both friendly and dangerous. Okay. Right. First things first. Your hunger is okay for now, so is your water. If you turn around in your near your pod, you will see these long looking plankton like plants. Keeping an eye out, keep an eye out. Let's go to these plankton like plants. You will see a long they all the way down to the ground. Let's go get some air. too close to that ship because it is full of radiation. Go back down. What we're looking at, these big plants, is these what looks like little yellow pods. This is very important because this pod, these little pods, new blueprint acquired. This pod on here, only taking four, is what gives you rubber. Rubber is very important because it's what you will need to make your fins so you can swim faster amongst other things. I think you also need it for your weapon as well. Alright, let's get back to your escape pod. Climb in. Okay, use the fabricator. Go to the first one. You can actually see by the little yellow icon that there is something new for you to do or learn. Click on the first one. It's showing you the first one. Basic. Now those little yellow bulbs can give you lubricant, which is oil used for your your vehicles later on, but the, which is very far in the future. So we'll leave it for now. You know, concentrate on the silicon rubber. Going to make for you. Very good, some rubber. Now, if you look on your personal, everything to do on the personal is what's going to go on to your body. So, click on your personal. The only one that's showing up is the what equipment is going on and what tools. At the moment, you don't have the tool things you need, so let's go to equipment. And here, you can get your fins. So now you can swim a lot faster and get out of danger a lot quicker. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Right, so now if you look in your PDA, you will see on your person you now have flippers. One problem solved. Now we have to concentrate on getting your oxygen done and also some means of weaponry. Because we've got some left over and it takes up a lot of space, I'm going to turn them into rubber as well for future need. Uh, let's just throw in one wheel, just so we have it. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Right click to get out of it. Use your tab. Now you see you have plenty of rubber. And I just kept one oil for now. Right. Now all this stuff takes space. Space which you are very limited to. Let's just open the storage and if you right click on the items you will see it will disappear. I think you just need to um, put the that away. Oops. Let me just say here. Alright. Now you need tools. Tools are also very important. So let's just see what we need to get a knife. Silicon rubber we have. Titanium is the next thing. Repair kits which we need to, to fix up the ship. There's cave sulfur and titanium again. And you see rubber, that's why we made a few extra. Right click. Let's go out. So titanium is our next goal. Okay, it is night time. 
most of the plants are depicting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Right. So what she what she's actually telling you is that um, in a very short time that spaceship that crash is going to explode and leak radiation into the field and you are in the path of it. Now let's look at these fish. This fish here, this pink one, is called a bladder fish. Oxygen. Very important. Grab it. New creature discovered. Get some more. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. This bladder fish is about the most important fish to you out there because this bladder fish is going to be giving you water. Don't cook it. Make your water from the bladder fish. Right click, look in your inventory. You have water. You can see you are down to half water. So left click and consume it. Brings your water level up a bit. You're still hungry. Try not to use the nutrition bars that are in the locker. Keep those for emergency. So we just need to hunt down, say, two, no two normal fish and another bladder fish to get your water and food sources up. Just stay where you are, look around. That big fish over here, which looks like more like a stingray, not edible. Okay. Let's look around, let's look around, let's see what's close by. Don't have to go too far. It's Grab us another new creature peeper. discovered. Oh, no, it's a whole fish. He's a peeper. And there is a bladder fish. Right, we've got one of those. Let's just see if we can find one more small fish. Oxygen. Oxygen is sitting at 45. We need to make a cylinder so we can go further and deeper. Fish. Any more things? Okay. We don't want to waste time. Fabricator, food, water. Food. Cook the fish in your head. Right click. Go off. Tab to open your inventory. Then cook the whole fish. Now, don't go overboard in, in collecting a lot of fish in that because it does go off. Raw fish, cooked fish will go off. If you want it to last longer, you're going to have to harvest salt so that you can cure it so that you can keep your fish in that longer. So don't go overboard. Catch when you need it or you're going to run out of space. Alright, let's eat the fish. Let's have the water, we can do one more fish. At least one more fish. Great, it's morning again. The time here is very, very important. Peeper, you got away from me. Come on, guy. Help us out. We're hungry. And you are delicious. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Let's get the hunger net out of the way. Done. Right click, tap, and eat. Right. Now you're hunky dory. You're ready to now try and get the rest of the things that you need to survive out there. Looking at the warning, everything is still pretty bad. Let's get out there and get the things you need. Okay. Now, the pod is quite close to things. When you see this on the floor here, this is salvage from the ship. If you pick it up, and you take it back to your pod, look at your inventory, tab, look how much space it takes. Four blocks four blocks so it's do not go overboard in collecting these things 
get them only when you need them. Go to the fabricator. Open the top resources. Open basic materials. And click on the top one. So now that scrap that you found on the floor is going to give you not one right click close, but four. For the four blocks you had is now four pieces of titanium. That's why I say don't go overboard. Do not collect all the scrap on the ground. As tempting as that is, unless you are prepared to make lots and lots of floating lockers around your spot, which is unadvisable. Alright, so now you've got titanium. Titanium is important in making tools for building. Let's see what else we can do. Something's popped up. We now can make our survival knife with the silicon rubber and titanium. Let's get it. Very important. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Right, the next two very important things to get is the scanner. The scanner is, I would say, one of the most important tools you have on you. Because without the scanner, you will not learn new bl blueprints as quickly as you would like. Your scanner, you scan everything. Plants, rocks, fish. Any, any man-made implement out there, you use it man-made stuff you learn the blueprints fish you learn what the, what they are whether they are herbivore or carnivore plants so you can see whether you can eat them use them whatever you need to do it rocks so you know what you can harvest what you can use so you just don't go out there and just scavenge everything so we need a battery now to make a battery let's see to make a battery we're going to need some acid mushrooms, two mash ma acid mushrooms and one copper ore. We've got a copper ore already, so let's go and harvest two acid mushrooms. As I say, don't go far from your pot, things are right here. Grab two acid, not four, two acid. Fabricator. Resources. Electronics battery made. Blueprint acquired. See, as you learn, you will actually get new blueprints added all the time. Great. Now let's go to our tools. Here is our scanner. The most important tool that you need. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Right, so now this scanner is now going to help us to learn other things that we need. Let's have a look at what other things that we, that we need to get. We, very, we desperately need to get um, an oxygen tank, we're just going to take Titanium, three pieces of titanium. Let's check our inventory. Remember, we picked up one scrap of, of metal and we've got four. We've got we've used two, we've got two left. So let's go out there. Let's either pick up another scrap of metal or we can look for it in rocks. See? If you hold your, your, your scanners in your hand, if you hold it over everything, it wants to be scanned. So let's go down to the acid mushroom, right click on it, and it'll scan you the information. It comes up. Press your tab key immediately so you can see what it is, even if it is for a few seconds. So it goes into our data and you learn basically a little bit about it. Close it again. Yeah. Fill up. Go down. Table coral, important, tab, read up about it if you want to, I'll leave it up to you, vein metal, tab, read up about it, right, this is, this is the, the theme, scan, 
everything. Scan everything. Creatures. Make sure you're near the surface at all times. Now. Right. So now you learned about the. I just opened that up to clear it because it becomes a bit annoying. If you look under here, under the very first tab on your right, it gives you your data. Click on anything that has a marker next to it, and you can actually find out. Everything there is about that creature or whatever it is that you've scanned. Tab. See it's on the Go down. Right. Go down. Scan the bladder fishes that you were that you were eating. Just get some more water while we're about it. As you can hear explosions. Ship isn't very long in, in staying one piece. Alright. Okay. Now don't forget we've got a knife. Knife is very important. Knife is something that we desperately need to use. We're going back to these plants. Now we're going to scan the plants. And as, as you can see, it actually tells you, cut it. You, number one, put your knife in your head. Right. Right cutting. Print acquired. Oxygen. Right. Two is enough for now. Let's go up. Actually, I'm going to get another two because I know what's going to come. Let me see. Four we've got. Right. That creeper plant is what's going to make you your fiber. Which will, you will need for your wetsuit and you get your tank as well. Fabricator, resources, basic materials, create your fiber. Okay, I used it so that now my inventory is not encumbered with too much stuff. Got the bladder fish, turn it into water. Always good to have one water around. Me. Back to your personal, go to tools. You definitely don't need another blade, you've got one. It's not going to break. Look at what you can make with the fiber. First aid kits, if you need it. I think that the first aid kit on the wall actually does um, refill over time, so it's not that important. Right. Floating air pump. Floating air pump is important if you want to do deeper dives and you don't, don't don't think you're going to have enough time to get up to the surface before you run out of air, then you will need a floating air pump, which is from two titaniums, and with it you will get, with another two titaniums, you will get four pipes to attach to it, so that you can go deep. So each pipe is roughly, I'd probably say about two meters long, so you just attach all of them, and you can go down deeper and have um, access to air. So that's very, very, very important. Exploring. Right, let's go back to tools. We need the repair tool. So we've got titanium, we've got rubber, we need cave sulfur. Cave sulfur is found in small caves quite near the, the, the surface. They don't really, these fish, the fish that actually um, house the, the cave sulfur don't like to go too deep, but they are dangerous. They are they will come at you and explode in your face, which will lower your life. So be aware of it. So that's going to be very dangerous, but we need to get that tool kit, that tool, so that we can fix the rest of your pipe. Flashlight, you're going to be needing for exploring the dark places and 
all the lots of crafts on the ground, which is battery and glass. Very simple to make. Battery, as you saw earlier on, was those two amino mushrooms and a piece of copper. So that's very easy to get. And glass is quartz, which we we can go and get as well. But we need to um, sort out getting a tank, which is from titanium. We've got two pieces. We need one more piece of titanium. Right click, get out of it. Back down the hatch. Look around. Look around. Look around. So you don't have to go too far in the beginning. The beginning is just to get you used to used to everything. Look around, explore. These small little cave things here is where you can get those um, creatures. See here? Here's quartz, which you will need for glass. Be careful, you will come across creature eggs. Do not use them, do not pick them up. Oxygen. Any time early in the game because you just gonna give yourself a headache. They are of no use to you in this early in the game. This coral table coral you will be needing. So use your knife. Go cut a few pieces. As you can see, something something came through. These these fish here. Let's bring out a scanner. They they pick up scrap. They like any scrap lying around, and if they think that you are too close to them, um, their scrap pile they will attack you. But they're not they're not really out there to kill you or to just tell you to get out of my turn. Okay, it's going into the dark. We still need to find a bit of titanium. to your pod, just looking around the area. Keep an eye on your oxygen levels. Okay, looks like some scrap here. Let's go get it. Oh, oh. Pick up. Let's go get some here. Pod has always showed, even no matter if even through walls and coral and everything, you'll be able to see it. Up, ship. Right, let's turn the scrap into titanium. Okay, your means you got four more pieces of titanium. We already had two, so now you got six. The oxygen level is at 45. We are now going to make an oxygen tank. The first one, the standard one. Right, now you can see your oxygen is now at 75. Acquired. So you can stay un underwater for 75 seconds. As you progress, your, your oxygen tank will get better and better. And when it comes to creating Caution. vehicles, continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Right, she's just informing you that the spaceship, which is right next to your pod or near enough, is going to explode whole place is going to be coated in radiation. Why they don't give you the radiation blueprint for your outfit soon in the game is beyond me. Okay, so let's just check. You can see you now have flippers and a tank. You have a knife, a scanner. We still need to get kit to fix up the ship and to do that we have to go a little deeper that's why we got the tank so that we can try and harvest sulfur which is kept 
by these very vicious little fish. As I said, size is not what counts in this game. Grab some water. If you're hungry and just a little bit thirsty, let's go and catch us some supper. Let's go catch us some supper. All the sounds in here is just to give you something to make you feel a little scared. Ladderfish. Crap. You heard something? That little noise, that <laughs> noise is normally. <laughs> Let's get out of the way. These fish. <laughs> scared them. They put down a gas, which is very detrimental to your health, so stay away from them. Okay, some. Salvage. As you see, it flashed. That means that there's something inside it. The sea glide fragment. If you scan it, you're going to learn the basic. Let's get out of the way from these. This is smelly fish. Air. We need air. Make sure. Oxygen. Far away enough away from them. Just keep your distance. Just keep your distance. Okay, we have already scanned the plants, but we did not scan the fruits, which makes the rubber. Just add it to your database. Tab, open it, close it. Just so it's done. Okay, here's a new kind of fish. Could you see we are getting a bit deeper? New kind of fish. Let's scan it. And let's go grab it. New creature discovered. Alright. That's going to be your supper. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Okay, as you can see in the distance, no matter where you are, you will see the basic outline of the signal from where your pod is. So you know where to go. Just be careful, these, these creatures are here. These gaseous creatures that just want to. Get too much gas. Okay. Yeah, that was quite close. Okay, let's get some water. And let's cook up our dinner. Remember, do not catch too much fish. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. Yeah, we are all going to eventually be harvesting salt so that we can cure our fish so we can keep it longer in our inventory so we can go further from our pod and, and investigate more things check in to see what else we can make right let's go into our inventory here's our little cooked hoverfish left click left click it's in the fish then click, add some water. Right, we got some, some I took some um, table coral samples because we'll need it later. I just skipped ahead by getting it now. The quartz is used for glass, which we need for our equipment as well. Which I think, and let me check, I think it was the flashlight that needs the glass. Yes, so we need one more piece of quartz, two of those acid mushrooms and, and a copper to be able to make a battery. So let's get on to it. Two of these are acid mushrooms. We need some copper. Looking down, looking down. Nope, we don't need eggs. Looking around, just close by, not too deep. Fish. Try to scan it. Come higher. Let's get some air. Keeping your eyes open for copper. Copper you will find in those little rocks formations. 
also find titanium in them, you will find silver, you will find gold, you will find a lot of things. New fonts, scan it, add it to our database, open tab, close tab. <laughs> is going to have that, that it's going to have that um, sulfur that we need just be careful because as I said those fishes will come straight at you and explode they are very scared of some fishes where we have tab there's another quartz we needed two quartz to make Glass. These here, the brain coral. See, it, it, it gives off a little bubble. So it's filling my tank. So they are useful plants. Keep an eye out for them. So you can stay under a little longer, look around, see what else is out here. We need that sulfur, so by going, trying to find the sulfur is means we have to go into smaller caves, which is dangerous because we have to keep an eye out for the arrow. Scan it for the database and your based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. That was silver. We need two pieces of silver to make wire. You don't need to scan all the limestone. It's going to be... No 30 use. seconds. Right, let's just get up to the top. Near blueprint acquired. Alright. Let's go down. So we got a piece of silver, which is we need for wiring. We scanned a, a blue blueprint from inside these things. Always look out for them. Not all of them are, are open. Prince is gonna pop you later on. See creature eggs, leave them. Leave them. You don't want to start a war with the creatures from the sea. Keep an eye on your oxygen. Scanning along the ground. Okay, here's your salt. I'll grab one so you can see about curing leaks. Looking around. 30 seconds. for titanium. You do not want a lot. These things are very good for, for hiding stuff in. You, you can often find um, a lot of um, things attached to these coral tubes. Stones inside. And a good place to hide when the big fish or the fish are after you. Okay. Now, so I've 
inventory. Let's go to tools. There, use your flashlight. Just makes it easier for you to go into dark places and for you to go looting at night so you don't have to sit in this spot the whole night. Okay. So we've got fins, we've got a tank. It's very important that we have a repair kit. Okay, just checking to see what we've got available to us. We still got silicon, we still got titanium, we still need the cave sulfur. So now we're going to concentrate on going for the cave sulfur. Which means we are going to get attacked by a nasty red fish. Okay, you can make a locker to put your things in, which is floats floats underneath your pod or wherever you put it. So that when you run out of space here in the storage container, you can use it. So for now, I'm actually going to just put the coral in there, because we'll only need it much later. And the fabric, uh, we're going to be needing for our wetsuit. But because that spaceship is going to explode, it means you are going to be dosed with radiation. So we need to make the wetsuit radiation proof. So to do that, we are going to need lead. So we've got the fabric, we're going to need lead. So let's keep an eye out, so we're going to have to look out for lead for the wetsuit, silver for wiring. We've got one piece, we're going to need one piece, we need more. And um, the sulfur to make the repair kit. Okay, it's right. But as I said, if you look in here, it's now created another first aid kit for you. You can make more on the fabricator if you want to carry some with you. Actually, I think I'm going to take this one with me because those, those fish are nasty. They're small, but they are nasty. Let's grab a bladder fish because we're running low on water coming. Alright. Mission goal. We're looking for lead. We're looking for sulfur. Now, as I said, these fish don't like to go too deep. So they like to be in little caves like this. Little cave things. Just gonna get two pieces of quartz to make one one more piece of glass. I'm not getting overboard, plenty more. Eye out for like a reddish, reddish flower. 30 seconds. Coral. Let's get out of the way of the stinkers. That's where you'll find more blueprints. We are looking specifically. It's titanium. We don't need it. Okay, looking for silver. Looking for lead. Looking for this nasty fish. As I say, this is where you find things. See, it's getting dark real quick. This is when we switch over to our torch. Let's go get some air. Right, let's go back down to this rick. Ah, you see these things to scan. If you hold your mouse over it, see the scan symbol comes up and pops on your, on your right, that means change tools, take your scanner out, scan what is available, grab trap is used to defend yourself against nasty little creatures, so in, in a sense it's a kind of a weapon, 
Let's go further on. But you need more than one piece to make it. Scan another one. There. She told you you have now learned it. Very good. Something else is scanning you. Sea glide. Okay, we've learned that. We don't need it anymore. See one more thing to scan. Nope. Let's go get some air. Oxygen. database tab no, so that's all what we needed we're not going to pick up the coral the, the quartz or anything we are looking for silver and lead very important silver and lead let's go up to get some air cool let's make it back to our place just keeping an eye out for any more nodes in your inventory for long because it's gonna go off. Just a pre-warning. Let's just craft up the, the quartz into glass just so it, it clears it from my inventory. Let's see if we can now make our repair kit. Very important. Right, it's in our slot number four. Let's switch over to number four. So now you have the repair kit in your hand. If you point at the item that is damaged, you will see it says it's on 40%. Point at it, right click, and it will repair. Life point secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Right. Now you can Warning. see local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Right, as you can see in your pod, now everything's stabilized, so this pod is now working almost 100%. Seek fluid intake. Let's see what it has got to our inventory and drink our fish. Vital signs stabilizing. Right. Okay. Now, I know showing you the radio is on 30%. I know if you right click you can repair it um, but this will also bring in the signals from other pods like pods like your own that are out there which will help to increase your knowledge um, give you more blueprints some of the pods are actually in very dangerous areas that are um, have very very monstrous uh, fish that will try and kill you out as well but another bad side effect of, of actually repairing the radio at this stage is that um, the rescue beacon is going to be signaled to ships out there you say yay I'm going to be rescued but the problem is if you have played this game before there is a, a, a detrimental side to it um, that you will come to realize by repairing this radio now so I do suggest if you don't want to feel rushed in the game don't repair the radio yet you can still find those drop pods you can do that yourself 
you will come across them yourself in your explorations unless you want to follow along and have something um, sort of a I know it's a bit of a spoiler something bad happen later on go ahead and repair it if you want if you want to actually follow that follow that route if you don't then I would suggest don't repair the radio for now right that's it um, let's see what is our next mission what else do we need let's check our equipment uh -huh, uh -huh. tools we've got the scanner we've got the repair kit we've got the torch we've got the survival knife pathfinder tool we haven't learned yet well we haven't we haven't got it yet we need those um, seeds two of them and copper wire to make a copper wire you need a copper um, nodule okay air bladder you can make air bladders also um, they are quite helpful I suppose in early game flares not necessary habitat builder is is very very good as well you're going to need that so that you can actually build a proper underwater base now to get that copper wiring I mean the wiring kit the wiring kit you need silver for battery easy to make two acid mushrooms and a copper monodule computer chip let's see what the computer chip entails table coral which I already bought a, a um, Harvest it earlier, but knowing we're going to need it. Gold. Gold. You will only really get gold in like in deeper depths. So you're going to need to have better oxygen. So even to to get this far, it's going to be difficult. So gold, deeper depths. You're going to have to need breathers and everything to get further down. And copper wire. Copper wire you could make. Right. To make copper wire, two copper ores. Deployables, waterproof locker. We don't need that yet. Mobile vehicle bay. We haven't got that far yet. Sea glide. That is something that you um, were scanning earlier on. You can make a sea glide, which is copper wire and a battery. Battery is to ammonia, mushrooms, and copper. This will just make you just swim a bit faster underwater and gives you kind of a map. Right. Let's check. Health is low. Food is low. Water is low. I did take one of these out of here already. But I'm going to use one for that nasty fish that got us. Let us put back onto scanner mode let's go catch us some food. let's go and catch some food and water come here water don't swim away from me um, let's get some food come peep up oh we haven't scanned it okay I wanted to show you cured food. If I go to cured food because I picked up that one salt, I can now make a cured fish. That fish I can now 
keeping my inventory for longer without it going off, which is very good. But I only had one piece of, uh, of um, salt, so let's just make a normal cooked one, and we'll keep the cured one for later. Okay. Right click tab inventory. So this one is the cured one. Don't consume it. Keep it for later. Cooked one. You can eat. Vital signs stabilizing. Water's low. We're gonna need both the water. We're actually gonna need more water and uh, so one more one more bladder fish and uh, one one more normal fish. Don't your cured fish keep them for a long distance <laughs> keep your eyes out we're still looking for lead the lead nodule is normally darker it's normally darker it's not these things it's normally a darker nodule keep your eye on them oxygen Here's another one of these gravity balls. See, because you've known it already, you will not turn that into... Oh, just in fragments. 30 seconds. 30 seconds of air. So frustrating. Titanium we drop because we scanned that item and we already had it, it turns what you scan into titanium. So you'll always get titanium. So don't go picking up titanium from those rocks. And these um, scraps, these scraps that you pick up will, will also give you titanium. Don't pick them up. As I said, you're going to be getting plenty of them. Look in these, look in these things for salvageables. Keep an eye on your oxygen. Another beacon just fragment to scan. Okay, now you know it. Beacon acquired. Beacons are very important because you see this, see this, this uh, oxygen. Over here we have a bit of a wreck. Okay. Later on, as a spoiler, um, you'll be, be able to build a scanning room which will scan all the debris on the floor here and will send it you on um, endless quests to go and salvage these things. By putting a beaker here, um, it will save you time because you will say um, on your beaker you can name it, you can give it a name and you can say done so that you know when the scanning machine is in operation in your base and it scans for this wreck here you will look at it and you can see oh I've already been here save you so much time that's just a suggestion you don't have to do it um, I'm just giving you some useful advice 30 seconds all right let's get up run out of air it's not a train smash because you will just end up back in your base as I said see look at these plants see uh, these coral here it's actually sending up bubbles see so it's filling up the tank with some air they are very useful brain coral there is another plant you'll actually find in game that will do the same check copper yes we will keep see we're going a little bit deeper now but we're also going to be running out of detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool yes but it's also where you get that nasty nasty oh that silver oh, that fish 
Seconds. Thirty seconds. Quickly go down to this brain coral. Come, 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 give me some air. Come, come. Come some more. Thank you. Right. While I'm standing here, the, oh, the detonation has occurred, and I'm Emergency. in the water. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state. Eight minus ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, three, two. suit has been added to your blueprint database yeah yeah any information or any the robot you could have told me that earlier so now we really need to look for the lead it's very imperative that we find the lead and while we're here we're gonna take this off because it's not something that comes oh you see look, look at the difference in color this is what i was telling you about the difference in color Lead, just what you needed for your suit. Gold. Lead. So you got lead and you got gold. This was very good that we stayed in this cave. Let's just go down to the brain coral to get some more air. Some more peace. Thank you very much. Kind of you. Let's get out of here. Seconds. And there's no brain coral by us. We need to get out. We need to get out. Up, up, up to the sky. We fly. Oxygen. Yeah, we're gulping it down. Okay. Remember that first aid kit I kept? From our from our thing, but if we turn around, turn around slowly. What was that? Sorry. You will see. Here it is. Let's look at it now. This exploded. Let's see how damaged it is. I think that we're gonna go on to that later in the game. Let's just get back to our pod. We've got lead, we've got fabric, we can now make ourselves always oh, wait, wait. I'm hungry. Come here. I saw you jump in here. Peepers, any uh bladder fish, any bladder fish? Surprise there. 
Airport might try to shoot down a fighter plane in no man's sky. to make uh, uh, radiation suit. Remember I made the two fibers, I kept them aside and we got two lit. Two fibers, two lit. We can now make our radiation suit. Okay, let's look at our tab key. You can see. Now I have our suits. Alright, so we've got a couple of slots left over for other things. Cool, we get in there. Right, keep the cured, eat the cooked. That cooked fish, that cooked fish, water, water, you've got space for another water. And uh, your health is a little down from that nasty fish that got you. I think we should make one at least. Um, let's see, battery, wiring kit and, and a computer chip. Let's see what we can make. Oh, we can make the computer chip now. No, we don't have copper wiring. made the basic and now it's giving us the blueprints for the more advanced. <laughs> right, let's see. The habitat. We've got the computer chip. Now we need to make a wiring kit and a battery. Battery, two acid mushrooms and a copper. Wiring kit. To make a wiring kit. two pieces of silver, we've got one. So we need one more piece of silver. Two coppers and two acid mushrooms. Where's one copper? Right, acid mushroom is right here. Boing, boing. Two acid mushrooms. Found. Copper nodules. That's, it's night time, so let's just switch over to our torch. See nodules. Nodules you, you, you can find on the actual rock, rock these um, rocks, but sometimes you find them on the floor. Sometimes you find them inside these coral tubes. Take your torch off so that you can see it like that. Aim it nicely. Press your F12 key. It'll take a picture, which you can later in your habitat under the under the sea. You can actually put this picture up on the wall. So look out for very outstanding sceneries, underwater things like this. I mean. 
how beautiful that is. Make sure that your arms are not swimming in the way. Wait for them to, to like go back. Click. So now that picture is now inside your inventory, which can be mounted on the wall on your habitat. Man, this is how bottled water was made. <laughs> yeah, the whale. Let's just grab another bladder fish because I would like to make a, a, a bladder thing for our inventory. For Some silver would be great for the wiring kit. Couple we got. Uh, I'm not sure if one is going to be enough. Let's check. Okay, these where these um, creeper things are. That's generally where you find the stalkers because um, they like to throw the garbage down there. So just be warned that if you do, like you can see, if you, if you are specifically looking. For garbage, you will find it in these areas with these creepers. Come on, come on. Hey. Hey. Okay, we don't need the light anymore. Let's put our scanner back on. I can see something peeping out of this box here. More of the glider. Learned how to make the glider. We haven't done one yet, but we'll just take it out of the box so we know we don't have to come here again. See, look, yes, there's a lot of garbage. These, it's gonna scan it. Just so it's in the lot of bank. Um, so if you're just looking specifically for that. that you have not seen yet. There's the irritating sea monkeys. Cute, adorable, but nasty thieves. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. True. That is so true. Um, having done scuba diving myself in the past, going into caves is very dangerous because yes, you can get very easily lost. So never dive alone. It's silver, that's it. 
just what we need to do to get out of here. Let's go get some air, get back to base, and... Oxygen. Get the torch away. have to learn um, the laser tool which you're going to be needing a lot to cut open things you cannot go into this uh, big uh, the aurora without a laser tool and uh, uh, another weapon which um, actually propels things and lifts things like a, uh, like a kinetic uh, manipulator that can move things that are in your way so uh, don't attempt to go there yet even though you are wearing a radiation suit um, it's not advisable. Right. Okay, let's just see. Um, we were busy making the habitat builder. Okay, so we need a wiring kit and a battery. A wiring kit and a battery. Here's the wiring kit. We've got two silvers. Wiring kit done. Not a power cell, a battery. Got a battery. Great. Back to the personal tools. Habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Right, that's so cool. We can start building a base. Right, let's just ha have some water. Just needed that. Right, I'm going to end this video here because we now got the basics. We still need the laser tool, which is very important. We have quite a full inventory without overdoing it, like a lot of people who start in the game, they go all out and try and get as much stuff as they can try and pick up, and then they find, hell, heck, I've got no place to store it, and they end up dumping it all onto the floor. And um, so, take my advice, go slow, get only what you need in the beginning. Now that you've got a heavy, heavy touch builder, you just change the slots just put it into number you actually don't you don't physically have this many slots in your game this toolbar this whole toolbar that's at the bottom here I think you only have about five slots or something mine is bigger only because of a mod that I downloaded off Nexus which you can probably find um, but uh, yeah um, I'm gonna end this off here this is the first tutorial number one just getting the basics so that you know how to survive, you know how to get your water, you know how to get your food, you know how to salvage the stuff around you, the things that you need to make, your knife, your, your scanner, the, the torch or the flashlight, your repair kit tool to be able to repair your pod and your habitat builder. Now the next episode I'm going to deal with the habitat builder so we're going to start building and uh, we are also going to try and get um, the laser cutter which is very important because we have to need it for when we go back to the aurora and also put some salvage wrecks that are under the sea that um, to be able to access the sealed off rooms you're going to need the laser cutter now to get the laser cutter you're going to have to scan three pieces of it so you're going to have to be on the lookout for three pieces that you have to scan before you can learn and make the blueprint. So at the moment, it's not in our. If you look inside your blueprints and you scroll down, which is very important, to, like, just keep an eye. On, scroll down; it's not going to be inside there. Um, your voice log, I do suggest you clicking on it every now and then and just scrolling down just to, to clear. And if you ever get lost in your story or your game the storyline or whatever you can always come back to the voice log from here and you can actually click on the builder tool 
is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. So you can actually play back any part that you might have forgotten or might have missed or got sidetracked. You can come back and look on it. So we are actually in day five and that's as far as we've got. If you go into your, your data bank information, everywhere that you see that there's a little yellow number next to it, go into there. I might, my suggestion is go into there. Click on it. It'll give you a little bit of information on whatever it is that you are now. Um, it's something new that you've learned. So you can actually learn these things and um, progress with better knowledge. So important. Brain coral gives you air. There's another one that'll give you air for, for deep, deeper depths, but you can't rely on them. You saw this nasty little crash fisher that crashes into you and explodes. The stalker, which generally doesn't really uh, attack you um, to kill you, as I said, it, it, it collects the scrap, scrap from this all around you. Bladderfish, important. You can eat it, but use it for water. Don't overstock. Hoverfish, olden fish, peeper, those things you can eat. Salt them, pick up salt, cure them. So that you can keep one or two in your inventory for further explorations. So yes, um, okay. So that's just the the basic tutorial. I know um, if I, that was part of the development team of this of this game, I would have actually said um, uh, put in a tutorial, play tutorial. So that'll so that'll actually say okay, we're going to now craft water. We'll help. This is the way to find water. Find a, a bladder fish, etc., etc. So that you go through the steps of the basic things until you've learned the very basics, and then it'll, it'll say, okay, now you know the basics. Um, you can uh, you can freely go on your way freely, or you can just have an option to skip it. So if you really know how to do it, you can just skip it, just so that the new players out there that that get this game are not through so much stress that they actually don't want to play the game anymore that was able to say oh no this is just too, too hard there's just no indication of what I have to do next I had the same problem um, with a lot of games where that gives you no indication what you have to do next you have to actually sit and figure it out die thousands of times until you finally figured it out right okay so I hope that's been of a help um, and um, I hope to, uh, that that is going to be helpful to you. Um, so yes, this is the gaming granny, and um, goodbye until the next one, next episode. See you soon.